what's up guys I know it's been a while since I made a video uh, and I know it's been even longer since I made some songs I and mean, it's been really busy with work and grad school and stuff so I wish I could make content uh, faster and better content but uh, I only have a limited amount of time so today we're going to respond to two pictures I'll leave a link to them as always in the description they were tweets by okay Disclosure, I follow a lot of really stupid pages on Twitter, like some of them are really fucking funny, and a lot of them that I don't agree with, but I follow anyway because they're funny. So, excuse me. Um, some random, random Pepe Army, Pepe Army uh, Twitter account that posts a bunch of right-wing stuff, a bunch of like Pepe memes, which is funny, you know, so that's why I follow him, but he's a fervent Le Pen supporter, and he tweets a number of ridiculous stupid, batshit, crazy, far-right tweets on a daily basis, especially since the election, the first round of French elections were today. Um, so I'm just going to respond to two of them because, again, I want to point out that the radical left is just as radical as the radical right. And the fact that they, they can't see their own radicalization extremism is the problem. That's why the vast majority of Americans are either extreme left or extreme right, and they don't believe that they are extreme because the vast majority of Americans are either on their side or extreme left. You know, so if you're an extreme right person, you can't see the extremism in the right wing politics. Same goes to the left. So the first picture, I'll leave a link as always. He says, I don't see white Christian men committing terrorism around the world. Someone was responding to him saying, you know, that not only Muslims commit terrorism across the world, white Christians do it too. He's like, well, I don't see it. That's the problem. That's a problem that we are trying, us moderates are trying to talk to you about and say, and say, you're choosing to not see these things because you can just look it up on Google at the push of a button. This is the problem when people get dragged into their narrative so much that they are isolated. They have blinders. They can't see anything outside their narrative. So this Twitter account, all he cares about is Islamic terrorism. That's all he posts. He doesn't post about... Jewish terrorism, Hindu terrorism, Buddhist terrorism, Christian terrorism, even though all of those terrorists, all those religions commit terrorism across the world. Not not the religion, you know what I mean. Not the actual religion itself, but people who practice that religion commit terrorism across the world all the time. But people, but radical right-wingers like him don't care about any other terrorism, so they, just, they, don't, they, they, they never mention it. They never mention it. Like, it doesn't exist. It's not in their narrative. It's not what they're concerned with, all this guy focuses on is Islamic terrorism, acts like they are the only group, the only religion that, that does this, the only uh, people who practice this religion, that's the, that's the only they do it. Oh, there are a couple of rare people like Timothy McVeigh in the 90s and the Andrews Brevik, you know, in 2011, you know, they'll admit, oh yeah, these isolated incidents, oh yeah, but there's, there's like three of them, you know, versus the thousands of Islamic terrorist attacks every single year. That's the problem. That is the fucking problem. That sentence right there, it is categorically not fucking true. But you will never do the Google search. I mean, I did a Vine on the Google search. Just do the Google search. Just go across the world and look at my globe. White terrorists are just... No, he wasn't talking about Christian terrorism. No, I admit there's not a lot of Templars running around the Holy Land killing people in the name of Christianity. No, but that's not how they operate. They do it in other ways. He was talking specifically about white Christians just committing terrorism in general. Not specifically in the name of Christianity, but just white Christians committing terrorism. He says he doesn't see it around the world. Because you haven't looked. You haven't seen all the white Christians killing each other by the thousands in the U.S. every single year. You haven't seen white Christian men in the U.S. military committing terrorism in Yemen, in Somalia, in um, Iraq, Syria. Just looking around the world. Libya. All of these... Uh, terrorist attacks that the U.S. military has conducted, a good chunk of the U.S. military are white Christians. So I can't get the breakdown. Like, no, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the exact stats. The U.S. military does not, first of all, doesn't like to talk bad about itself because that's being anti-military. But it's not going to break down the civilians that is killed and then the religion of the, the specific soldiers that committed these terrorist acts and killed these civilians, they're not going to keep that data. Why would they keep that data? This makes them look bad. So no, I can't give the information. But all I can tell you, well, let's just look up. Percentage of white Christians in the 
military. Oh my god, okay, I'm just getting the fucking stat, man. Oh, here we go. Add it all up, at least 66% of the U.S. military is Christian. So you can infer, logically, that all of the terrorist acts that the U.S. military has conducted around the world... I just listed six countries off the top of my head. You can link the other video of the 64 countries that we're at war at. So a good chunk of those military personnel committing terrorism are white Christians, considering that they are 66% of the military. That's just a logical, I don't know the exact stat. There's just, there's no way you can possibly know that. But more than half of the U.S. military is Christian, and the U.S. military has committed thousands of terrorist acts against across the entire world over the years. You can infer that at least some of those attacks were made by white Christians. So therefore, categorically proving this tweet wrong, yes, they are white Christians committing terrorism across the entire world. Or funding terrorist activities. If you're funding a terrorist activity, that's committing terrorism. You're funding it. You are allowing it to happen through your funding. So this is shit I'm talking about. I spent 30 seconds on Google just looking up some stats real quick for you and just proved his tweet wrong in 30 seconds. This is talking about fake news. These, pers these people are just tweeting complete bullshit and they don't care. Their hatred for Muslims clouds their judgment so much that they can't do the Google search to see well, how many Hindu terrorists committed terrorist attacks in India? How many Buddhist terrorists committed uh, terrorist, in, uh, terrorist attacks in Burma? Like, and they would come to the conclusion, wow, it's, it's like every single religion has terrorists that kill innocent people. But he doesn't care. He is so, he hates Muslims so much. He doesn't want a single Muslim in his country. He's, you can go to his Twitter and read all of his hateful tweets. He thinks all Muslims are terrorists or have the potential to be terrorists because the Islamic faith itself supports terrorism. He, he believes that. Second tweet, he does not want any Muslim immigration to France. That's why he supports um, Le Pen. And the second tweet says, uh, if France doesn't want any more riots or terrorist attacks, then they need to get rid of all Muslims. If they, if they get rid of all Muslims, these two things will happen. Again, 30 seconds on Google. Again, I've said this in so many videos. I said this, I said this in the last one. These, the problem with these statements, all, never, zero, always, 100%, is that you only need one example to prove your statement wrong. So he's saying that every single riot in France, I don't know how far back in history he was going when he thought of this stupid fucking tweet, but he's saying if you get rid of Muslims, there will be no riots. That means every single riot in France was made by Muslims. Every single terrorist attack was made by Muslims. That's what he's saying in France. And it's just like, dude, what the fucking hell are you talking about? You are so fucking dumb. You say things that can be proven by data, by video evidence, proven wrong in 30 seconds. It just it takes two seconds to look it up on Google, but you don't care. And you wonder why people view you as batshit crazy because you say absolutely ridiculous horseshit like that. I'll leave a link to a YouTube video that was a riot done by radical leftists in France in March 31st, 2016. I just pulled 2016 because that's the soonest year that's been completed. Um, this was not a Muslim protest. There might be some Muslims in there. But it was primarily made by radical leftists. There were some communist flags running around. It was similar to the Occupy movement. Um, let's just take a look at this video. Take a look at all of these white people rioting in France. I mean, they could be—they could all be Muslim converts. What do I know? I mean, this could be the most progressive video I've ever seen. These radical leftists holding communist flags. They have blonde hair and pale skin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking a gander and it's going to say that not all of them are Muslim. But he said that they wouldn't be any riots if there were no Muslims. Every single riot in France has been committed by Muslims. That's what he's saying. But just look at it. L look at it. Wow, look at all this violent rioting. Look at all these white French people that are non-Muslim just throwing things at the police. 
going toe to toe with them with their shields and their sticks and these and the flares and look at all these signs. Look at all these fucking white people. Wait, are all the Muslim? Like, what? Look how violent they're, they're being. Look at all these white people. Are they all white Muslims? Look at them throwing things at places. Just all you need is one example. You need one example of this particular riot that was made by non-Muslims to categorically prove his statement wrong that if you get rid of Muslims, no. There will still be riots in France. I know that is a bombshell to his shelter, narrow-minded view. He talked about that there would be no terrorist attacks in France if we got all the Muslims out. That means he thinks, he honestly thinks in his pea brain that every single terrorist attack in France was committed by Muslims. Well, well you know, we just look up uh, organized crime in France. They have the, uh, lots of different mafia. The, uh, Corsican mafia. Corsican? Th that doesn't sound Muslim to me. Now, there's the French, uh, Maghrebi and the French black criminal organizations who come from North Africa. So, yeah, not denying they're Muslim terrorists in the France. I never said that. Never, 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 never did I ever say that there are no Muslim terrorists in France. And nor did I ever say that there are no Muslim terrorist attacks in France. There are. All I'm saying is that not, uh, not every single fucking one of them. <laughs> wow, look at all these uh, Muslim names, like Zemmour, a Jewish clan. Wow, the Zemmour brothers and the Hornick brothers and Radoin Fade. I have no idea how to pronounce these names, but they, they, don't, they don't really sound Muslim. Oh, and what do they do? Oh, they assassinated people. Oh, they trafficked drugs with Jackie, Mad Jackie Erbit in French. It's the Belgian. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like all these terrorist attacks made by Muslims. Man, I, I, I can't fucking believe that, man. Oh, an intense drug war. Oh, that sounds really terroristy. And all these assassinations, and all these murders, and all these assaults, and all these robberies. And there's some made by the French black organized crime, and the French Maghreb organized crime. I'm not gonna deny that. But, oh, there's also Les Cades de Cities. Oh, in Marseille, they are involved the uh, French Corsican Mafia. Muslim, of course. Uh, involved in legal slot machines. Okay, it's not too bad. Mon money laundering, not that bad. Extortion, eh, kind of bad. Dr drug trafficking and robberies. Oh, yeah. When you define terrorism as only when a Muslim kills someone named Islam, then, of course, you're going to arrive to the conclusion after you research that only Muslims commit terrorist attacks. Terrorist attacks. A terrorist activity. A terrorist attack is attack against a civilian for political goals. These... Criminal gangs want power, want control, just like the French Maghrebi want control. They're no different from the Taliban. Robbing people, trafficking drugs, assaulting people for power. When the Taliban murders someone in Afghanistan, you can say, oh, another Islamic terrorist attack, those damn fu fucking Muslims. They just, they're so bloodthirsty. They're so awful. Look at all these terrorist attacks. Look at this list of thousands of Muslim terrorist attacks. But when a French gangster rob someone in Marseille, for example, and he's Christian. Mum, nothing. Doesn't fit my narrative. I'm not going to talk about it. That means absolutely nothing to me. So, that's it. Just want to counter these two tweets and just show that with any minimal effort of research, you will find that they're both false. Which, I do not believe that these people, the person who owns this Twitter, does not know how to do a Google search. I, I don't believe, he is remaining ignorant on purpose. He is ignoring the data and the evidence that contradict his narratives because he doesn't want to see the truth. He doesn't want his narrative to be sh shattered. He will continue his disgusting attack on Muslims in Islam, just slandering them whenever he gets the chance, jumping on every single Islamic attack that he can find and say, this is proof that Islamic is, they're, they're, they're barbarians, they're rapists, they're murderers, saying nothing when a French Christian does the same thing, which they do, I just looked it up. Saying nothing when a Hindu does it in India, saying nothing when a Buddhist does it in Burma, saying nothing when a Jew does it in Palestine. It's just, he just doesn't care. 